In today's video, I'm going to talk about the concept of using two-dimensional probability density function f of x1 and x2 for calculating the joint probability of two continuous random variables, height and weight in this case. So here, x1 represents height and x2 represents weight. And we try to find the joint probability that the height is between 5.95 and 6.05 feet and the weight is between 160 and 175 pounds. So we would and we could integrate the joint probability density function over these specified intervals. The function f of x1 and x2 provides a density over a two-dimensional space. So here is height and weight. It tells us how dense the probability mass is at each point in this height and weight space. So we try to find the joint probability over specified ranges for both a variable. We can integrate the functions first over one variable and then we integrate over another variable. So this double integral effectively sums up all the infinitesimal probabilities across this area, which is defined by the interval from 5.95 to 6.05 for height and the interval from 160 to 175 for the weight. The double integral is given by this mathematical formula. The possibility of the height is between the 5.95 and 6.05, and the weight is between 160 and 175, which is equal to the integral from the 160 to 175, and of the integral from the 5.95 to 6.05 of f of x1 and x2 with respect to x1 and x2. So this formula calculates the possibilities of a randomly selected individual from this population, which falling within the specified height and weight ranges. This doubled integral used to calculate the joint probability over these intervals, which sums up the probability density within this specified rectangle. So this integration provides the total probability mass is defined height and weight, which range by accumulating the density values within this area of interest. So this visualization and integral calculation together provide a comprehensive view of how the joint probabilities are modeled and computated for continuous variables in two dimensions. For demonstration purpose, we assume a simple bivariate normal distribution for height and weight, which may not be entirely accurate for real-world data, but will serve well for illustrative purpose, which highlighting the specified interval. So this plot visualizes the joint probability density of the height and weight as a two-dimensional field, and the color density reflects the probability density at each point with warmer colors, indicating higher color densities. This heat map shows the distribution of the probability density over height and weight, and the center where colors are warmest indicates the highest density region, which corresponds to the most likely combination of height and weight. And the target region highlighted rectangle marks the region of interest, which specifically where the height is between 5.95 and 6.05 feet, and the weight is between 160 and 175 pounds. The probability of a randomly selected individual falling into this range is the integral of the density over this rectangle.